What's up, Nakhshon here. I've been doing movement training for the last six and something years and today I'm going to react to hybrid calisthenics video about you can do push-ups. I got the suggestion to react to this guy on one of my previous reaction videos and he seems interesting. I saw one of his videos because of that suggestion and he seems like a very genuine and nice guy which I really really like and his mindsets, the way he talks about mindsets is really interesting and welcoming and accepting which I really really like. And I think it could definitely be relevant to movement training or to training overall. So I want to see what he talks about in this video. Let's go. My friend, if you can't do push-ups, just like with everything else in the world, you can build up. Let me help. There's no reason to be a sh <laughs> First of all, I really love the way he just introduces me to the video with my friend. Very welcoming and nice. And um, yeah, true. For, for what he said so far. Jamed if you can't do a push-up. Fitness is a journey and we all start somewhere. Plus, there are many kinds of push-ups. So we find one we can do and we work it until we're strong enough to move on. We can start with some wall push-ups. Aim for three sets of 50. The... Yeah, very true. This is so, so true. I get this, I get this kind of reaction so many times when I meet people and they see me doing movement training and I ask them, well, why don't you just start then? And most of them say, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not good enough yet, I need to be better before I come. And that's because they're afraid of, of being around people who are very advanced, because there are a lot of advanced people, and they will feel like, compared to them, they will feel like like losers or whatever, which is, which is not, obviously not true, because the purpose of a class, of taking a class in anything, is to be better at it. So it's obviously acceptable that you can you come to that class without knowing what to do and you end up after the class knowing a bit more so if you don't really know how to approach something we'll just come to a class so what if you're if you're not good that's that's expected of you so like what he talks about is really true and i think it's very very genuine and also very um i would say it i can definitely see how it will relax people when they think about doing something new. So far from what he says, you can definitely do some version of anything you, you want. Maybe you're not at the top, maybe you can't do advanced variations of whatever you want to do, but you can definitely start somewhere and do something. Um, and what he sp specifically talks about right now is, is doing a push-up, which is usually a very simple exercise, but many people can't really do it because it requires strength. But even in a simple exercise like that, there are easier variations you can work on to be able to do it. And when you do a wall push-up, there's almost no resistance. So you have to do a lot more repetitions to develop some, some strength. Um, I wouldn't even say strength. You, you develop more durability, muscle durability. Um, yeah. The reason you're doing so many is so you can practice your pushing motion. Next, we can do incline push-ups on a railing, table, or any stable surface. The lower the yeah. object, the harder. I recommend starting with something at least higher than your hips. Work these until you can do three sets of 40. Next, we finally go back to the ground and we can do kneeling push-ups. And no, I never call these girl push-ups. This is a great therapy exercise that we don't need to shame. And I've never met a girl that likes them being called that. Anyway, work- Yeah, I guess that's true. But if you're offended by calling someone something girls, I can understand. Yeah, especially when you want to start something, it can be pretty alarming and discouraging that you can't really do even the girls version, which is obviously, I know some girls who are stronger than me, can do things that I can never do. Um, definitely true. And definitely a good mindset and message to, to convey. Work these until you can do two sets of 25. And then you should be strong enough to do a regular full push-up. Congratulations. If you start getting joint pain, you may have progressed too quickly. Go back to some of the easier variations. Sometimes our muscles are strong enough to move on but our joints are not if you're interested yeah true this is very very true so this is especially true for i would say handstands because it's an exercise that doesn't require a lot of strength depends on where you're coming from me for example because i come from a background of having very close shoulders i have to open them up and that's really hard for me but i would say most people don't have that problem so handstand is not and a strength exercise so much. So people think that, well, as long as I can balance, I'm good, which is not true because you're, you, you're balancing yourself on a very tiny and fragile uh, joint. And if it's not ready for that type of load and durability, you, you, don't, you don't want to play with it. Always, 
always, I would say almost in every exercise or every exercise, always prioritize your joints health above the strength you want to develop, the durability or whatever. This is very, very true. If you're interested, I have a full YouTube video on this that I'll link in the comments. Have a beautiful day. My friend. Aww, this guy is so nice. So, so nice and very disalarming and removing fears. I love this. I love this guy. He's very nice <laughs> and welcoming. This is so good. This is such a positive and good message that I, that definitely transfers to anything you do in life. Not only push-ups. Push-ups is just a very good exercise for like a simple exercise that you all can do. And there's always something that you can do. Even if you feel like, oh, it's too big for me. Even if you go, if even if you look at one arm handstand, which is like so hard to do, such an advanced skill to have. Um, but there's always something you can do to get to that place, no matter where you are, like really, no matter where you are. And I really love this message. I think it's really good. And I think it's extremely relevant for, I think it's extremely relevant for movement training because there's like this exclusivity aura around it where people feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not one of the chosen one. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not supposed to be inside this inner circle of the people who do movement training, which is, you can definitely do it and you can definitely start somewhere. Really, no matter your situation, there's always something you can do. So I love this guy. This is amazing. Yeah. Let me know what you think about it. Did you like the video? Did you hate it? How can you really hate it? such a cool guy let me know if there are any other videos you want me to react to if it's about mindsets or movement training or something that relates to that world i would really love to to react and, and share my knowledge and, and experience don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you can it would really help me to expose more people to the movement training world and to guys like this which i love i really like this guy if you see this video man like hit me up i I don't know. I really, I think you're really cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, have a good day or week whenever I publish this. I'm not really sure. So whatever it is, have a good one. Um, peace.